Hi everyone, welcome back to uh, part two. We're now going to create our first user within our uh, Blogger system. Before we do that, um, I'm going to just make one small addition within uh, the database and I'm going to add one record to the uh, blog admin table. We could do this through WAPLA, but it's just so much quicker and easier just to do this uh, via your favorite um, SQL editor. So in my case, I, I like um, my Navicat. Um, and if you go into the blog admin screen, what you'll see is that I've created one record within there. Um, I've called it username guest. And the uh, user's display name is guest. I haven't even put a password in. We will never need one. Um, but the important thing is I needed to know what user ID would be allocated to guest. And that will be the user ID that is placed against any records where the uh, effectively the commenter is a guest rather than a, a logged in user. Um, I just thought it was convenient to make sure that it was one. And rather than creating it through the uh, new user the system that we're going to create now so there we are remember user id of guest is always one simple as that okay so let's pop into wapla now i've created a very very simple home page it's nothing more than a uh, a container containing a title of blog page just so we've got somewhere to uh, use as a landing page so our first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new page now because we're going to be creating a new user. Any of you who have followed my tutorials in the past, if you have looked at the uh, creating a new user with SHA-256 encrypted password, um, that's basically what I'm redoing again. So uh, if, you don't, if you feel that you know what you're doing, then uh, you can actually skip this totally and come in at the next one, which is, will be the login stage. There we've got a simple container with one column again. I'm going to stay right from the start. I'm not going to worry about prettifying this. I'm probably not going to even bother limiting field lengths within a DOM panel very much. Um, I want to teach the nuts and bolts rather than the design technique. Two reasons. One is it makes very, very long videos if you do design. Two is I'm not a terribly good designer anyway. I'm more the programmer than the designer. So, okay. Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, full of cold at the moment forms and I'm going to pick an already existing um, form I'm going to use the register name and email form it sort of fits what we're doing um, but remember that name there if we if we just quickly refer back to the structures that we had before I said username will actually be the email address password obviously with password and then we'll have a user display name so this name up here is actually going to be the user display name. So I'm now going to change the name of the fields to match that, just so we uh, don't get confused what's happening. The email screen is actually what we're going to call username. And then last of all, our password in our database we call user password. So if we're happy we've got these named the same. User password, user name, and user display name. I'll just give that button a bit of colour because it sort of fades away in the whiteness of white. A quick save on that. And we're going to call that new user.php. Okay, that form's obviously going to uh, send something over to Server Connect. So let's uh, create a new file here. And we'll call that new user. First thing we'll do is pull those globals over. Uh, we want those post values pulled over. So they're going to come from the page called new user. And the form within that is register one. If we hit import, we'll see now that those three variables have been uh, created within the post section. I'm not going to mess about with validation. That's over for you later, folks. Um, steps. It's going to be an insert query. Oh, 
Hold on a minute. We better give it a uh, database connection to work on first. Database connection again. Here's one I created earlier. Um, if you don't know how to create a database connection, lots of tutorials on that. There's one done by me as well. I think it was the very first tutorial that I did. Um, so I'm not going to go through that process here. And then we're going to have an insert action because we're going to insert details of that user in the system. So there we are. We're going to call it insert user, insert options. Yes, I am hurrying through it. That's the way it's got to be, I'm afraid. We don't need to create user auth at this stage because actually let's make an admin record here. So if you remember the authorization defaults to C, which is a commenter, but we want somebody who can administer it and administer it. So all we're going to say is instead of using the default, we're going to give the authorized user the authorization of A for, for admin. Been sensible enough to match the um, here, so we got username. We see here we've got the user password that we set up before. I'm just opening these up so you can see it is in your post variables. Your user display name similarly is in your post variables. Let's save that. Let's save that action. So now all we've got to do is call that action over no we don't what have we got really important we're encrypting these we do not want to leave passwords in plain text that's a huge huge security issue so where we have post user password if we click the lightning bolt magic wand over here for formatting right click go into cryptographic and i'm using sharp 256 password encryption It'll need a salt, and I'm just going to give it a salt of Wapler rocks. We need to remember that because we will need it when we're uh, doing the login. Save that. And now we know that that password will be securely saved, encrypted. So it's going to hopefully keep the hackers out. Going back to our form, we now need to make sure that's a server connect form. We're going to be posting the data, data over and we need to use that new user server action that we've created. What else do we need to do? Well, we just need to, what happens, we fill in the form, hit the submit button, the information goes over to App Connect, the app, app sorry, server connect, server connect deals with it, creates a database record comes back to your page we don't want it just to be sitting doing nothing so i'm just going to do something very very simple here and i'm going to go right at the top of the tree we're going to do add the browser component and then on the forms dynamic actions our dynamic events events you'll see it says server connect we now have a success event so what we're doing is we're telling it what to do if the server event is successful i'm going to go to we're just going to go back to that index page that we had earlier let's save that um i think that's everything we need to do let's keep fingers crossed so let's Open that up in a browser. Okay, so the handle will be um, hyperbytes. The email will be brian at Rappler Unwrapped online. And our password will be one two three four five six seven eight let's submit that and absolutely nothing has happened so let's have a look and see where we've gone wrong here have you got any errors in the uh, the console nothing at all let's just make sure that submit button is set to submit and there's our problem that button was not submitting. 
Drop that down. Let's just refresh that. My fingers aren't working today. Some of you will probably be at this stage going, oh, you've missed something, Brian. And yes, I have. We should really be checking to make sure that there's no duplicates, um, logins created in the system. Um, I'll come back to that later. So let's hit submit. There we are. Been submitted. We've gone back to our home page. I'm just going to very quickly pop into the admin. And there we see that user has been created. Email, username Brian at Waplow and Wrapped. Password you'll see there is nicely encrypted. Handle there and I've been created as a user, an, auth an authorized user in the admin level. I'm going to put it hold to there because uh, we're 11 minutes in and uh, the next unit I think I'll add in that check for duplicate stage to the um, server connect action. So please come back for part three.